So I am running the user interface program and it's looking quite good at this point, but for one specific reason, and that is I migrated away from the Microsoft Syndication API. And while I saw the Microsoft Syndication API as very useful, I realized through this process that it is, re it is grossly incomplete for the purposes I have in this program, which is primarily to read RSS feeds rather than create RSS feeds. And the Microsoft Syndication API, based on the commentary from a variety of people in, in Stack Overflow and other places, is it's geared more towards creating feeds in the RSS 2.0 format and the Atom 1.0 format. And while that is great if you're trying to build a website using Blazor and ASP.NET and all that, and you want to push out your data to others, it does me no good in this case. So I was like, let me go ahead and build my own RSS API. Because I asked ChatGPT about different alternatives out there. I looked into them, and ChatGPT gave me four responses and two of them were paid subscriptions, right? And the other project that it uh, recommended uh, was shut down or archived, should I say, read-only state. And um, the other one, um, it basically um, is in a state of transition. So I was like, okay, I, I, see what, I see where we are now, right? We do not have a good quality RSS library in the .NET world. And that's fine, that's cool, like whatever. And so I wrote my own RSS API in my C++ version of the program in the Linux environment. I wrote that from scratch, from the ground up, right? Greenfield development using libxml. So I went out there and I started searching and I went on GitHub and I went searching. I was like, this is an open source application. I can take example from an open source application. Right? There are many RSS applications out there. It's just that mine is my own particular spin and I want to do it a certain way. But as far as RSS feed parsing, there are some good examples out there. Or at least I think there has to be. Right? And so I went looking and I went looking and then I finally uh, found one called uh, Newsbeater, right? which sounded very promising, but they actually uh, shut down that project. And then, so that got forked off to what's called Newsboat. So I went and I looked at Newsboat and I said, okay, um, this has a lot of contributors. It is um, actively developed and it is keeping up with the latest as well as the oldest standards in RSS. So I was like, okay, let me uh, go, go into their repository and take a look at the RSS implementation, right? And this is me verbally giving them credit, even though I also put credit in the source code, right, from that I derived uh, my API, right? And so, um, so that team did a great job with the way that they approached RSS uh, parsing. And so I went ahead and created an RSS uh, parser from scratch using um, Newsbeater as a reference architecture, right, as a reference. And so although I have my own implementation that I built up from, from scratch in C++, it was much more uh, convenient to me to look at a different example, right? Even though the code was very, is very similar to mine in terms of the coding style, the C++ coding style in uh, Newsboat, even though the code, coding style is very, is very similar, I decided that it was more practical to um, look at a implementation that works with a much wider um, array of feed sources or feed formats uh, than I've, I've considered up until this point. And so the implementation that I came up with in C Sharp doesn't look like the one that um, exists in the Newsboat project that's written in C++, but it very much um, takes cues from um, Newsboat in terms of how the RSS API is implemented. And 
I put an emphasis, I, I returned the emphasis on practicality and pragmatism in the way I parsed the RSS data. Instead of saying, oh, if this RSS feed is not in the most pristine format that mirrors um, the RSS standards, I will reject it out of hand. Oh no, the data is, so if the data is there, you can extract the data. It's just how much of the data can you recognize in an automated fashion so that you extract the information and present it. And so that's the approach that I um, decided to go with, right? Because I would gladly use a competently implemented and highly robust um, RSS API that is provided as part of the uh, platform from a billion dollar company, right? If it was uh, able to address all the needs. But um, since there isn't any, then I said, okay, I will make one and move forward. And so I posted the latest version of this to um, the GitHub at uh, github.com forward slash Michael Gaucher. You click on repositories and you'll see Gaucher RSS Reader MSWPF. That stands for Microsoft WPF because that's the, um, the, the computer technology stack that I'm using here. And so this uh, shows the before and after snapshot when I removed the Microsoft syndication API and I went in my own direction, right? And so um, I'm actually pleased with that. I, I really do like going in my own direction. And so um, I just thought that using the syndication API would be faster. And for a little while it was, but when we're talking about moving beyond speed and then also incorporating accuracy and being comprehensive with what we are able to achieve, then in this case, I looked at this C++ code and I said, you know what? I recognize this coding style quite extensively. I spent so many years with this. I was like, yeah, I actually understood it at a glance. And I was like, okay, I can do that. Let's do the C sharp version of that and see what we can produce. And then once I did that, you know, this is pretty much what I came up with. And if you want to look at it in more detail, you just go to GitHub dot com forward slash Michael Gaucher go into the relevant repository and you'll see this code uh, implementation and so I'm extremely pleased with how this turned out because I ended up not only with more data that I was able to capture but I was able to do it in such a way that had a beneficial impact on the software application as you see here right as I click through the different uh, screens and when I have an internet connection it's able to pull in the images and I have hyperlinking going on. It's absolutely fabulous.